let you know we're out here floating south the marathon. 10-4, that's a good copy. We're on the water. I was going to run to the Haitian self-rater real quick. With federal agents. This target at the moment is a little over 16 nautical miles offshore. From Air and Marine Operations. Coming up. A specialized law enforcement division of U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Their mission stop migrants from making it on land in the U.S. illegally. It's getting tough because it's, it's, a, it's a numbers game. If Florida is a gateway into the country, also. the Florida Keys is a 180-mile-long central hub where freedom-seeking migrants, mostly from Cuba and Haiti, are often willing to do anything and risk everything to get here. I've seen uh, people that have shot themselves. I've seen people that have uh, try to cut themselves. Marine interdiction agent John Apollody has been patrolling the waterways in the Keys yeah, since 2009. The thought process is if I injure myself uh, enough that they'll have to take me to a hospital. With so much attention focused on the influx of migrants crossing the southwestern border, here in the southeast, here on the ocean, totally different set of problems. The wave of migrant landings and seaside attempts are also on the rise. It's the most I've seen since I've been here. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, more than half of all migrant interdictions at sea in the U.S. are conducted by the Miami Air and Marine Branch, which includes the Florida Keys. This year, those units apprehended 139 migrants on water. For comparison, in 2021, that number was 54. Does something more need to be done to secure our borders? We have a finite number of agents and assets. So that being said, it, it, does, it does get tougher every day with the, the, the more that come, the harder it is on us. To help control the surge, agents from borders around the country are now doing 30 day rotations here. This agent hails from the northern border in Michigan. Plotting a course to a possible target of interest. Stopping people from entering the state illegally on water. 33 and a half nautical miles west of us. Begins with tracking them in the air. Once air crews spot suspicious boats, the Marine team in these high-tech boats move in. It's been almost daily. It doesn't take long to get a new alert. Right now we know of one rustic vessel and possibly uh, a GoFast vessel. Right there, one for also. GoFast boats like these have long been used to smuggle in desperate migrants. These are just a few images of recent captures and the sometimes dozens of migrants hidden inside. Oh, wow. On this day, their target is some 40 miles southeast of Marathon. This is our first interdiction of the day. As we inch closer, we can see the vessel is homemade, known as rustic for its rickety build, often shoddy mechanics but it's packed with people, mostly men, a few women, all from Cuba. Are they typically repeat? So, yeah, I mean, we've found some that have been, once they run biometrics, that have been into the country before. Sometimes they even have Florida driver's licenses. So they'll make it here, they'll get some kind of status, and then they'll go back for one reason or another. With partners from the U.S. Coast Guard in tow, the group is given life jackets and quickly transferred to a federal vessel. We get the clear, it's safe to approach. How are you? Como estas? They smile, some wave at our cameras, answer our questions, even take out phones to capture the moment. ¿Qué quieres de América? Why do you want to come here? In, in Cuba? Nada in Cuba. This group of migrants just told us they've been traveling on the water for eight days to try to make it to America from Cuba because there's nothing in Cuba. And they were just interdicted, which means Coast Guard's going, they're going to load up on the Coast Guard cutter and they're going to be sent back to Cuba. That's the chance they take. A closer look at their wood frame boat. Jugs are for water or fuel. Shows just how risky this week long journey was. First interdiction of the day, complete. Uh, everybody was safe. That's, that's you know, all you can hope for. And, each... and on to the next one. And on to the next one. In the Florida Keys, Katie Legrone for the Florida 24 Network.